Just overall as a wide receiver group, mm -hmm. what do you think about the first game? Coach Free said still kind of working out some of the kinks. Yeah. You feel like you guys are on the right track as wide receivers? Uh yeah, I definitely feel like we're on the right track and we're uh we're building a, a relationship and a bond in a room to kinda so we all know the standard and we can all play at the standard and everybody on the same page and stuff like that. So I think we I think we're gonna be pretty good. Coach Freeze talked about he was disappointed in some of the receivers, I guess. They weren't running the routes right, weren't uh, doing the spacing right. And I forget other things he mentioned, but did y'all see that on tape too? What, what did you see? Uh, it was more of perimeter blocking, like fundamental issues and stuff like that. But I would say alignment and uh, route running and things like that were pretty solid. Is it going to be a process for you guys, new quarterback, new coaches, new system? You know, is this going to be something we all can continue to get better as the season goes on? Yeah, it is. Um, and we, we had a lot of work with each other in the past and like over the summer and stuff. So I think we all building a pretty good bond and we, we know each other enough to kind of be able to tell each other when we messing up and stuff like that. And one of the things Coach Fries was saying earlier was what the benchmarks are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not something he talks about a lot. Yeah. I don't hear the other coaches talk about that as much. Yeah. Tell me what, is that something new to you? I mean, like when you were a receiver in high school, people talk about that? Uh, yeah, it actually is because in high school, our, our coaches never really told us like what we did and stuff like that. So I think, I think it's good, but it can also be bad if it gets to a certain point. But I think right now, as of right now, I think it's a good thing you know, to hear stuff like that. Yeah. There were there were several times on Saturday where Peyton saw one on one threw it up to mm -hmm. y'all and he's you know, big plays down by even some yeah. of the smaller guys. Mm -hmm. What is that like when you know quarterback's got that confidence that he thinks that you know, y'all can go win those one on one battles downfield? Uh, it's it's a pretty good feeling knowing that we got a quarterback or a couple quarterbacks back there that trust us and know that we can make plays when we when we, when they count on us. So it's a it's a really good feeling actually, just knowing that he trusts us enough to do stuff like that. You guys rotated a lot in your preseason, mm -hmm. rotated a lot on Saturday. Yeah. Do you feel like that could end up being a strength for you guys because oh, yeah. of the tempo and all the things you may do on offense? Oh, yeah. Just just based on the fact that we run a, a very fast-paced offense. So when we, we rotate like that, it's hard for DBs to kind of pick up on tendencies and stuff like that. So it'll, it'll definitely help us in the long run. Mario, I apologize if you're over there. Just the adjustments of getting ready to go on the West Coast, mm -hmm. adjust your body, adjust your mental clock. Uh, what's going to be some of the biggest challenges when it comes to that? Um, I would definitely say probably the time change and uh, probably the air out there. It might be different. I don't know. I've never been to California, so <laughs> we're going to see. Um, how good was it to see Malcolm Johnson get out there and make a couple big plays for you guys? I know it's been a tough mm -hmm. um, spring and fall for him with the injuries. Like that. Yeah, it was really good getting to see Malcolm out there just because, you know, he didn't have some battles with injuries in the past, like last season. And just to see him coming back and be able to make plays, it's, it's a good feeling. If he can stay healthy, what can he bring to this offense? A lot, because he, he's probably one of our faster receivers. Uh, he probably He definitely is one of our faster receivers. And I know he has the ability to make really good plays. Is he one of the leaders of the group? He sure. is. Yeah. He is. We saw Peyton really targeting Shane a lot now for the downfield. Mm -hmm. you know, for a new guy, just what has he kind of brought to y'all's room with, with what he has and the experience he has? Shane? Yeah, Shane. Um, it's, it's actually really fun getting to play with Shane because he might be like a little older, but at the same time, he brings a little bit of youth and a different kind of energy to the, uh, to the room. And just the fact that like he could just make any kind of play at any time, and you won't even be able to like notice he about to make it. That's that's a really good thing to have. You were just talking about spacing earlier for those mm -hmm. receivers and making yeah. sure that you guys truly understand the route. Granted, you've only been around him spring, fall, and now mm -hmm. a few seasons, few weeks into the season. On a scale of one to hundred, how well would you say that you understand the offense at this point? Um, I'll say about like a. Like an 80. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Is it difficult to grasp, or what's the most difficult, challenging part about his offense? Uh, the most difficult part, I would say, is getting the little details. Like, in general, the whole offense, it's not really a, a hard offense to learn, but it's just like the technical things and the, the details that if, you don't, if you're not listening, you're going to miss it. So, stuff like that. How much does it help to have a game under your belt? To, mm -hmm. You can see it in practice all you want to, but to have a game under your belt, 
adjust the defense? How much does that help now heading into the game two? Uh, it helps a lot, actually. Just you know, give some some kind of experience, even if it if it's not a lot. Just some just something to see, like the speed of the game and how fast everything moves and stuff. It helps. Mari, is there a little bit different feel this week um, going on the road versus Cal, who had a pretty good game in week one? You know, this is sort of a step up in competition. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I wouldn't say so, just because. Myself personally, I try to take every game the same, keep it keep the same energy at every game. Cause if you get too high or get too low, as Coach Davis like to say, you know it'll it'll throw you off. So you just gotta stay the same. Do you ever get low? I do, I do. <laughs> Everybody does. Though, You're an so. energy guy, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I like to think so, and other people probably say so, but everybody has low days. Yeah. So how, how important is the energy gonna be when you're playing late night West Coast? Are you already kind of psyching yourself up to, to, to be that guy come Saturday night? Nah, I just got to stay the same. Who's going to have the hardest time on the team staying up that late and playing? I mean, there's probably some guys that stay up late all the time and probably some guys that may go to bed early. Who who have problems staying up the latest? Uh, I don't really know. I, I don't really know who, who goes to sleep early and who doesn't. But I'm guessing it'll probably be some of the older players. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah, you age getting to them a little bit. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what do you do on a flight that long? Are you gonna listen to anything? Are you sleep? What do you do? Man, I don't know what I'm about to do. I <laughs> I ain't never been on a flight that long, so I guess I'm gonna just figure it out as I go. All right, we we saw you a little bit last season, mm -hmm. but then this off season we hear a lot more about you. You get a chance to be one of the top receivers on the team. Mm -hmm. What what was the difference for you? You felt like this fall to get you ready to be in this kind of role. What was the biggest change? Um, just just the fact that I know there's coaches here that believe in me. Like last staff, I'm not gonna say there weren't coaches that didn't believe in me, but it it felt like that sometimes. And now like. I, I feel stronger about like how they feel about me and stuff like that and knowing I'm going to be getting worked into the game plan. So that, that definitely helps a lot and I think it's more confidence than anything. What's your relationship like with Coach Davis? Uh, that's, that's my dog. We, we're real tight. We're real tight. But he, the one thing he does preach about though is like having relationships with everybody. So like right. during the off season, we'll like go eat or something, go to his house, just chill and do stuff like that. So, yeah. Hey, the UMass game was our first chance to see Jeremiah Cobb play. And man, I feel like we were all just like, whoa, has yeah. he been like this all, all camp? He's been like that. And it's just, and nobody really even. Well, me, I'll speak for myself. I didn't even know like who he was before he came or anything. So like being able to see him in the fall and in the, in the summer and just see what he can do, it, it opened my eyes up. And it's, it's crazy. Oh, yeah, like, that boy's electric. Okay. You uh, Freeze talked about coaching hard and coaching quarterbacks hard. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Is it, is, it fun? Love, is it fun to see that as a coach? I love being like – I like being coached hard just because that's how I grew up. And knowing that the quarterbacks are getting the same treatment that everybody else is getting is, is, is fun. Yeah, what, what was he like on, on Saturday, first game? Uh, he was, he was like, real hyped up and stuff like that. And he, but he, he expected, you know, he expected us to go in there and do big things. So you could tell that. But from a standpoint of him coaching hard, he, he lived up to that. He, he said he, had, he expects quarterbacks to be 100% on their, mm -hmm. their reads. Like, yeah. To, to, for a coach to say, hey, I want perfection, is that is that good to hear? Oh, yeah. Just just because, I mean, he knows we're going to mess up, but like for him to expect that from us, that's really big because a lot of coaches might not even feel that way about their players and the team that they have.